So every time you try to make collaborations work, something happens and it goes wrong. Well, I have some tips for you. So guys, um, my tripod was recently stolen, hence the reason that this looks very different to what a normal video might look like, just because uh, I'm balancing everything on my desk with boxes and... <sighs> Ugh. Anyway, I just hope my camera doesn't fall. <laughs> so like I said in the intro, there's sometimes a lot of problems that uh, arise when you're trying to set up collaborations on YouTube. These might be that you feel you're stretching yourself out too thin, you're collaborating with so many people that you don't actually form any bonds or relationships with them, and uh, and your audience doesn't seem to latch onto anyone because it's a new face every time and they have to get used to each of them. Sometimes it may be just that there's a ton of work involved with those collaborations. You know, for each video you have to interact with a person who's halfway across the world and you have to do time zone stuff and and then they're busy and then your friend who also wants to record is blah and it gets crazy. So the tip that I have today is actually to create a small group of close friends. I kind of covered it in this video a while ago, but I'm gonna rehash it and I'm going to update what I said back then because I'm just gonna make it much more succinct. It's much better for your audience if they know who it is you're collaborating with. It's also much better for you if you can set up, you know, schedules, if you know the person who you're recording with. So for that reason, I think that it's a lot better to stick with a small group, or it doesn't even have to be a small group, just a close group of people who you are comfortable recording with, rather than trying to collaborate with every single person in the world. Now this video was inspired by a post I actually saw on the Freedom Forums. Sadly, I couldn't find it. I think it was deleted recently. But the premise was that everyone in the thread should comment and uh, visit each other's videos to kind of form this collaborative, uh, you know, kind of cross-promotion. And while I think that that has good roots, and I think that it is a good idea to an extent, I think it's better if you do it across fewer people. I think if you have, you know, a group of four friends who you comment on each other's videos regularly, you share each other's videos, it'll be a lot more effective because you're marketing to the same audience. They're gonna get kind of used to, to seeing those same faces. One day they might go, click subscribe after watching their videos so many times. It's much more effective than trying to share everyone's video in the world and get everyone to share your video. First of all, because you're not gonna be able to do that. And second, because your audience is gonna go, what? Anyway, so I hope this video helps you out. Uh, hopefully you can get, gather together some uh, few close friends and record together and have fun and comment on each other's videos and uh, let me know how that goes for you. I'd love to see uh, your responses, whether it's tomorrow or in two months time. Let me know how it goes in the comments up there. <gasps> anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more of me, follow me right here or right here. Uh, on Twitter, <laughs> at Aragorn Games, and I will see you guys next time. Click the links if you want to see more from Freedom, and if you want to see more of my ugly mug, just click right here.